Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So have you ever worked on a group project where you did all the work, but your lazy partner put his name on it too and got an easy A? Or maybe it would be more relevant to ask if you've ever written the paper that someone else paid you for. Well, while the latter would get you kicked out of most universities for academic dishonesty, something similar is actually a widespread and perfectly accepted practice in the technology industry. I'm talking about the use of Original Equipment Manufacturers, or OEMs. So here's how it works. Think about the last time you visited a fast food joint, like McDonald's. Chances are, if you walk around back, you'll see some dumpsters and a few teenagers with nowhere else to be. Not a patch of land where McDonald's is raising its own cows, growing its own potatoes, and refining its own sugar for the soda fountain. Well, I'm sure it seems obvious now that we mention it, but McDonald's buys all that stuff from outside companies, cooks it, and then markets it as the Big Mac value meal that you happily gobble up. The reason for this is that it's far cheaper and easier for them to outsource farming and even some other processes like baking buns than it is for them to build a thousand barns and raise millions of chickens by themselves. So bringing this back to the tech world, many of the companies that you think of as businesses that make electronics don't actually make electronics at all. A great example of this is Apple. Apple doesn't use its own factories to produce the iPhone. Rather, they're all made by companies like Foxconn and Pegatron, headquartered in Taiwan, who use the specs that Apple Apple sends to them. And indeed, many different electronics are manufactured this way. A design team at company A will come up with a product idea and design a schematic, but then pay company B to actually make it, even though company B's name never shows up on the product that you end up buying. I mean, can you imagine that? The Foxconn iPhone X. Another thing that makes the iPhone such an interesting example is the fact that Apple could afford to build their own factories, but they don't. The reality is that supervising the process, but leaving a manufacturing specialist to actually build the devices, saves them tons of money. They save on the upfront cost of building the facility, they save on labor, and they can leverage the supply chain expertise and the overall volume that lets large manufacturers acquire raw materials in bulk at great prices. Remember, Foxconn makes a lot more than just iPhones. Other manufacturers even take things a step farther and make their own product lineups without any spec from any outside company, then sell these wholesale to companies who will slap their own badge on them and maybe provide a few extras, like additional warranty support or aesthetic improvements. This this variation makes the manufacturer more of an ODM, with the D standing for design, and is a frequent practice with power supply brands. For example, to our knowledge, Rosewill and Fractal Design aren't involved with the technical design process of their own PSUs at all, instead buying and rebranding units designed by ODMs. Now to be clear, this doesn't mean that they're bad at all. And sometimes there can be a benefit. Seasonic, for example, both builds and sells their own power supplies, but often their prices are higher than the brands who are rebadging what is, in some cases, fundamentally the same unit. But John, why do I keep hearing people refer to companies like Dell and HP as OEMs when they use lots of third-party components in their pre-built computers? Well, that's a good point. Maybe a better term would be original equipment assemblers. But regardless, people do use the term OEM when they're talking about companies that sell pre-builds as well, which is why OEM versions of Windows cost less. Although the software is the same, they're meant for businesses that sell PCs and provide their own support to customers, meaning Microsoft won't give you any warranty support if there's a problem. Let's get back to our original definition, though. Because OEMs are so common in the tech world, sometimes you'll see a problem affecting many different brands because they were using the same OEM. This was speculated to have happened during the infamous capacitor plague of the early 2000s, when several well-known brands had widespread issues with faulty products due to bad capacitors provided by an outside manufacturer. So if you really want to know what's inside that shiny new power supply or monitor you just bought, do your homework and see if you can identify which OEMs, if any, were used. You don't want to get reeled in by a fancy looking box only to find out that the gadgets inside were actually made by Mr. Sebastian's budget PCB kitchen. Speaking of budgets, can you not budget the time to sit down and read? Well then, check out Blinkist, an app that condenses the best info and insights from thousands of nonfiction books into just 15 minutes of either reading or listening. You can read or listen to some of the best books on the go, and you can take the most valuable parts from them without having to invest too much time. I mean, it's easy to spend 15 minutes on Facebook just browsing passively, so why not listen to the key insights from that book that you've been meaning to read? And not only is Blinkist an affordable and great investment in yourself, they have yearly, monthly, and even free options. 
And if you want a recommendation right now, check out Getting Things Done by David Allen on Blinkist if you want to be more productive. And right now, they have a special offer just for TechWiki viewers. The first 500 people to click the link in the description or go to Blinkist.com slash TechWiki will get 20% off the cost of membership, and they also have a free trial so you can check it out with no obligation. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Like, dislike, check out our other channels up here, comment down below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe.